The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks. Anything you see on a two boy screen, I like to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 44 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. Let's get on there and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Belgium. We got some plays over in Belgium this week. Gracias, gracias, gratitude. And I noticed, I saw, I was, I was online. And I saw that you guys made beer, or classified or made beer and chocolate essential. So in Belgium, where you guys are at, Beer and chocolate is considered essential. And during the Corona, Corona, the Corona, COVID crisis, these stores stay open that sell that. Hand claps, pats in the back. Bravo to you for making chocolate and beer essential. Because I know a lot of my American brothers and sisters would be so on board with that. Belgium, you guys are okay in the captain's book. And I appreciate the plays, appreciate the listens. Bravo, bravo. Appreciate the gossip, gossip, gratitude. And just an FYI. Back in the day with school to be a radio DJ, but I never got a job. I might not have had the will, the desire, the 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 fortitude, the 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 the, the moxie. I don't know. I might just didn't have the right stuff. But anyways, that allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. Subject to debate. Might be true, might not. But since I said it on the internet, it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is true, right? Earth is an Earth flat. Don't believe everything here on the internet. On the internet. Don't believe anything you read or hear on the internet. Don't believe to like. Anyways, um, I, mean, I could ramble, go on and on here, but I won't. Let's get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Sometimes I rap. So when the captain is not doing podcasts, sometimes I rap. So over the last year, this corona, this 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 lockdown, this, this sheltering in place, I was up in the lab and I was recording raps. Rhymes, made beats, did rhymes, all influenced by the current pandemic. Name of the album is DOV. You can get over at the Bandcamp page. I'll put the link below. You can stream it, download it, whatever you want to do. Check it out. Need some new music to hear for the end of the year. Christmas, you want to hear my unique style, the way I rap. You want to hear this dude talk in rhythm? I can do that sometimes. Sometimes I do it. So check it out. Put the link below over at the Bandcamp page. Get DOV. Get some new music in the eardrums. And say, hey, it's not only the captain, the greatest podcast in the multiverse, in the multiverse, but sometimes he raps. Oh, so awesome. So anyways, check it out. Put the link below. Now let's get on with the podcast. We are creeping up on the end of the year. This is the last podcast of 2020, baby. Next one is 2021. Oh my gosh, we are in the future. It is crazy. The future, 2021. Oh, oh, what are we talking about? I was born in 1976. And now we in 21, about to be 21. It is crazy. Wireless headphones, internet, LEDs around TV, self-parking cars, satellites in space, spaceships, tacos. <laughs> tacos have always been around. And speaking of tacos, I made some fantastic tacos today. I'm recording this podcast on Taco Tuesday. You can hear it on Wednesday. It gets dropped on Wednesday. But I'm recording it on Taco Tuesday. And I had some very unique tacos. Okay, let me tell you what I put in these tacos. You'd be like, okay, okay, this is, okay, okay, let's hear it. Okay, see here, Captain. And a little bit of ground beef with my, 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 my herbs and spices, my, my little special mix of spices, right? Get that meat with the spices mix. Then add a little bit of spinach, a little bit of spinach, a little bit of spinach up in there. So you got, the, you got the ground beef with the spinach. Some black beans. Add some black beans, right? A little black bean spinach. 
chia seeds. Oh, chia seeds up in there. Got some chia seeds. Here's the ingredient where you might say, whoa, hold on, Captain. What are you doing? So to top off and finish my little mixture of, of taco, meat, uh, pepper, stuff, I added chickpeas, right? So my mixture of for the taco, we're talking ground beef, black beans, spinach, chia seeds, and chickpeas. You're probably like, whoa, chickpeas and tacos, what are you doing, bro? What's going on? It's how I roll, baby. And then I sprinkled a little bit of pepper jack cheese on a flour tortilla, and you got the captain's special tacos. So I have those a lot. That, that's that particular mixture of, of, of ingredients. Pretty standard. You need to get your spinach up in there, you get your beans, you got some ground beef, got uh, chickpeas, got chia seeds, pretty well-balanced taco. If you can have well-balanced tacos, pretty well, but there's a lot of different things going on nutrition in that taco. So yeah, yeah, add that. Chickpeas in my tacos. How often you hearing that? How often you hearing chickpeas in the tacos? You might not be hearing that. You might be saying, Captain, you're so crazy. Why are you putting chickpeas in your tacos? I don't know, man. I like chickpeas a lot. <laughs> I love chickpeas. I love hummus. Uh, so one day I just said, I was going to put chickpeas in my taco. I talked to somebody about it. Like, bro, you're crazy. Don't put chickpeas in the tacos. But I got to do it, bro. I love Mexican food. I love tacos, but I also love Mediterranean. I mix them together. Tacos and just chickpeas and tacos. So, <laughs> so anyways, I had that. Just ate that. I'm feeling good. And, and so I had, you know, I had that with the mineral water. And that prepared me. It got me in the mindset to talk about what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about the best of the year. And what I'm talking about, what was the best thing on the tube this year, according to the captain, in, with my unique perspective? What, what out of all the things I saw on the tube this year, movies, TV shows, YouTube videos, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, whatever's on the screen, the tube, there's a picture on it, what was the greatest thing I've seen? UFC fights, jujitsu. Over the year, I've watched a lot of things on the screen, like I have been for the previous 43 years. 43 years watching Tube here and there. This year was no different. I'm still watching Tube. Even though I had considered getting rid of the TV and not watching Tube at all. I can't do that. I'm, I'm too I'm too much of the entertainment. I like it too much. It helps me unwind, decompress, and relax. But anyways, the best thing on the Tube. I thought about it. I thought about what I saw all year. I thought about the different things I saw, experienced, and, and, and viewed multiple times. Haul videos. Ladies put on yoga pants, right? You heard that, right? Ancient aliens, right? I mean, just a bunch of things. The Wonder Woman. You know I mean, just the Star Trek. I mean, tons, tons, tons of stuff, right? And after all those shows, all those YouTube videos, all those fights, all those Instagram feeds, all the everything, everything on the tube the whole year of 2020. I thought, like, come on, but we know what it is. You knew it, you knew it, and you knew it in the middle of the year what it was. And to me, the greatest thing on the tube of 2008, to me, the best thing I've seen on the tube all year was, wait for it, da -da 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 -da. the Bureau. If you've been listening to this podcast, you probably knew I was going to say the Bureau because I talked about the Bureau like six times in the last year. The Bureau was so good. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it, Google it. I don't want to go into breaking the whole thing down again. I've talked about it so many times. I've referred to the earlier podcast. But real quick, the Bureau is just basically a French spy show, which is over at the Sundance Now app, right? It's a spot spies. It's in, it's in French. And that's basically what it is, right? But this show, which I've said multiple times this podcast, was so powerful. I could feel the emotions through the screen. I could feel the love, the anger. The, the different emotions I could feel of the acting was so good. The storytelling was so good. And if you've heard these podcasts, you know I love spy shows. I love spy movies, right? And this one was just, just like I said, like the, one of the, probably the best I've seen today. That's a strong statement considering I've seen so much spy stuff. I've seen so many spy shows and TV movies and all that. This one, just something about it was just, oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking about it now, like, it was so good. I think I fell in love with the, the, the woman in the show, just <laughs> the guy, the main character in the, in, the, in, the, in the show fell in love with her. I said, I fell in love with her too. I just was so mesmerized by her, her intelligence and her beauty. I, you know, I cared about these characters so much. The storytelling was so powerful. 
I kept benching him because I wanted to know what happened next. I said multiple times, I think that that uh, the Bureau wrecked every other show for me because it was so good. And also, the fact that I picked the Bureau in a, in a year where there was three Star Trek shows on the tube. You know Star Trek is my favorite thing in the world. Star Trek is the favorite, my favorite thing. I love Star Trek. And Picard dropped this year. Picard is my favorite dude, captain, like, of all time. Picard is the man. I love uh, Jean-Luc Picard. Picard is my guy. Like, he's my idol. He's my TV dad. He's like, he's just like, he's just so awesome. And even with Picard being on the tube this year, Star Trek Discovery being on the tube this year, Lower Decks, which you know I'm a huge Star Trek fan, despite all those being on the tube, which were all great shows, I love Discovery. I love Lower Decks. I love Picard. Great. That being said, even though I love them so much, even though they're so awesome, I still had to pick the Bureau. Because the Bureau made me cry. The Bureau made me... I had, to, I had to, like... After watching the Bureau, I had to sit back and just, like, decompress from watching it. I said on the podcast before, like... I just had to... I had to sit and process. Because some of the shows, man, were, like, so... Oh, moving. But it's, you need to see it. If you've not seen the Bureau... And you like Breaking Bad, and you like, like, what's the other really high shows? Like, like The Mandalorian. Okay, these okay, these aren't even shows that have anything to do with it. But if you're like, if you're just like those really hot shows, those shows that are really popular, everybody's talking about, this one is right up in there. And I know that everybody's not talking about it, but I have a feeling if you've seen it, you like those other ones, you will so be sucked into the story. Go, oh my gosh, it's so good. I could sit on here for another 20 minutes talking about it. It just, you have to see it. As of right now, I believe it's only available to Sundance now. It might be on Amazon. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But if you get a chance to check out this show called The Bureau, you got to see it. It was like, seriously, it was my favorite thing of 2020. Your favorite thing on the tube of 2020. I just I just couldn't get enough of it. I binged the whole first, what, first four seasons quickly. And the fifth season came out. I watched it every week. Oh, my. It was so, so good. I'm going to have to watch them all over. It was so good. Oh, I can't. I need to shut up because I just keep going on and on about it. But that was the greatest thing on the tube this year. And I thought about it over the last couple of days. Like, and that, like I said, that's in a year of Star Trek, three shows of Star Trek. And I still picked the Bureau. And you guys know how much I love it. I'm going to repeat it again. You know how much I love Star Trek. And I still picked the Bureau. That is how powerful and strong the storytelling was in the acting in the Bureau. So check it out. The greatest thing on the tube this year to the captain, the best on the tube of 2020 to the captain was the Bureau. There's something about spy. I just love spy. Something about spy shows are just so great. They're so interesting. I don't know what it is about the spy world that I'm so interested in. It's just the way that it's depicted on film, TV, and books. It's just so interesting. Maybe because the captain lives a dull, boring life. And I can uh, I can be like uh, Julian Bashir in Star Trek and indulge in spy fantasy by watching the shows if you don't know Julian Bashir is a guy in Star Trek DS9 and he kind of liked to to play spy in the holodeck a little bit I just watched the episode about the other day so anyways channel leader to spy go check out the bureau it was the best of the year and if you know if it sounds, if it sounds interesting go check it out you know the captain's recommendations are never bad because <laughs> I am a movie expert right I am the greatest podcast in the multiverse maybe so anyways check it out that was the best of the year and, if, and just real quick before I sign off I know 2020 has been rough. It's been rough, and we've been seeing things happen in society that are that, that are that are just obviously from that. Okay, we we know things are tough monetarily, physically, mentally. It just it's very tough on everybody. I, I maybe not everybody, but majority of people. It's just a tough year, and people are are expressing their anger, frustration in different ways, and sometimes it, it turns into a bad situation, right? In my state where I'm at, um, the, the person that runs the state, she been getting some heat. The unnecessary heat. Way unnecessary, man. Like, just people getting so mad, they, they want to take it out on somebody, right? And, and since she's the one that's kind of running the show, they looking at her like it's her fault, man. But, like, honestly, like, anybody who's running anything right now, a company, a government, a locality, it is extremely tough. We're dealing with circumstances that are unprecedented. They're doing the best they can, right? They're doing the but they, no one that there was no handbook on how to 
have to deal with this particular situation. There's no hand, there's no guidebook, there's no handbook. They're just trying to figure it out as they go along. So give them guys a break. They're trying the best they can. And they they have your best interest at heart. I believe. I know people won't believe that, but it's true. Because if the people ain't all right, they got nothing to do, right? They, they need the people to be all right. So give them a break. Give them the ease. I know it's, it's I know people are frustrated, but they uh, they're doing the best they can, right? They doing they trying the best they can. And sooner or later, we're gonna be through this. It's to be over. Back to business as usual. And um, we, we just, just it's, it's happening. So just just power through it. I know it's tough. I know it's hard, easy for me to say on this microphone. I don't know what you guys are going through. I got my own personal struggles as well. It may not be as difficult as yours or not as easy as I don't, but we all going through it. Let's just try to do the best we can. Let's make it through this. Let's try to stay positive. Let's try to treat each other well. Let's just be a good human being. I know, it's the, I know what the stress is on. We're in pain, physically, mentally, whatever. Some of us, right? Okay, we still got to We still got to be cool. We still got to be nice. Still be good people, right? Let's try to do that. I know I'm sitting on soapbox talking, man, but uh, it's, we're moving into a new year. And I've did seen some nastiness out there in the world in the last in the last last year, even before that. Let's 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 let's, 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 let's like, like Michael Jackson. Let's take a look at the man in the mirror. Let's start with that. Let's be the change in the world that you want to see. So you want the world to change? Be that change, right? Walk walk your life. Um, be be what you want to see in the world, right? That's, I try to live by that. Sometimes it's hard, but I try to live by that. So, anyways, let me stop preaching. Um, you guys have a uh, good, safe 2020 New Year's, so New Year's, New Year's Eve. If you get a party, party safe. And we'll see you in 21 on Sunday. And you might have a hangover. You got a hangover? Listen to me. I'll, I'll soothe you with my pleasant, soft voice. <laughs> so anyways, this is Captain signing off for 2020. It was a rough one. And I'll see you in 2021. Until next time, we'll see you. Do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. John Wood. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.